YouTube. How you doing? Hey guys, it's Carbon, and I'm back again with another commentary. But this time, I'm going to be talking about Passive Call of Duty. Passive and aggressive playstyles of Call of Duty can differ in certain kind of maps and playstyles and game types. Don't forget game types. For example, Hardpoint and Competitive in Black Ops 2 is very aggressive. Hardpoint and Pubs, though, could go very aggressive. Or campy to play for your streaks. Domination, mostly campy, unless you're in a full party spawn trapping. TDM. CTF, Blitz, extremely rushy. That's the difference between passive and aggressive game styles. The only problem I have with passive, passive playstyle is what I did in this commentary today. What I did wrong in this commentary is... I was too passive. I almost lost the game ahead of it. Today's gameplay is a 30 and 2 free for all on the map Octane. I actually knew one of the players that was in this lobby as a competitive player like myself. His name is Mode of Hoods. He's quite the player to beat me at WGG. It's a local LAN event, and he's good. So back to the comic, the comment, comic, blah, blah, blah. back to the comment of the day. Passive versus aggressive playstyles. Passive playstyles do help you stat-wise, but they're not very interesting to watch. For example, I went 30-2 and two in this gameplay. I didn't have the funnest time playing it, though. It's because I was stuck in a certain area sound whoring with my Astros blasting here and there footsteps from a mile away. I could walk 500 wild miles and they could walk 500 more and I would still hear them. Well, my favorite kind of playstyle is the aggressive playstyle. The aggressive playstyle where you could rush up in their spawn and get a nice six piece, getting a nice fast camp strike. I'd rather get a two minute camp strike than a five minute camp strike. Because you look really good when you rush in their spawn. Feet blazing, guns shooting, seven or eight kills in a row. Get your specialist bonus just non-stop action, just non-stop fun for the viewer, the player, and everyone else around you. Except for the people you kill. That's the problem, in my opinion. Is people don't understand when camping is necessary. For example, I have been... Very, very close to chem strikes before. Like, I would say two away, multiple times. And I'm thinking in my head, this is going to be a great video. So I decided, hey, let's rush in the spawn. Do you know what that doesn't do? That doesn't get you kills. It gets you a death. And you don't want a death. You want to make your KD and the best type of video for YouTube. You want top gameplay, top quality, top commentary. You want the best for your channel. But also, going back to the passive part, when you're one away from a chem strike, it's probably not the best idea to run at six LMGs staring at you. It's probably better to sit back and get a pick. That's why I don't understand why people... Like, for example, I posted a video on my old channel. I've been uploading videos for a long time now. I posted a video on my old channel. MW2 Nuke. I camped in the top house in Rundown for about a minute when I was one off my nuke and the guy commented saying you're a camper you don't deserve the Moab or the uh, the nuke at the time and I'm just sitting here wondering what do you mean I don't deserve it I'd earn the kills I camp for a minute passive aggressive both playstyles work in their own sense for example more examples, I mean, not, I've already made some examples, but more examples. Aggressive people get more clips for montages. Mo usually more kills, but they also get more deaths. That's the negative about that. And sometimes they just get overridden in bad situations. Example, three people chasing you. But for campers, or the passive-aggressive playstyle, passive playstyle, not passive-aggressive, for the passive playstyle, you can get maybe a 40-0 gameplay. But, you're not entertaining the viewers, you're not entertaining yourself, and you can get killstreaks. But the problem is, if you play against aggressive people, they'll eventually get into your spawn and find your spot and you will be dead within a minute. Passive playstyle is better for 
an AR type based thing, while submachine guns are better for the aggressive play style. Because with the AR, you're going to have a lot of long range gunfights because you're going to be sitting in a corner <laughs> in your spawn. You're going to be sitting in a corner in your spawn and you're not going to move. But for example, with a submachine gun, you're going to want a gun with a high rate of fire, most likely silent so they can't find you. And you're going to also want to have. Make sure you don't run out of ammo because I don't know how many times I've been one or two off of a chem strike and my dumbass decided it was a great idea to not put scavenger fully loaded on because I forgot in this game when you get specialist bonus, you don't get all the perks. You just get some of them. Some of them that you choose so you don't get scavenger when you get specialist bonus. If you don't have ammo, you're pretty much screwed. So that's why I like to run when I play my aggressive place. I like to run A. Uh, fully loaded and or scavenger class so I could always pick up on the ammo and run away But like I said free for all on octane three and two it came really down to the wire actually came back at the beginning I joined a little late and um, Yeah, 30 and two using the ARX 180. I'm gonna list off my perks at the end of the video now because I want to be original I had sleight of hand as a specialist perk scavenger as a specialist perk and I'm pretty sure steady aim is a specialist perk while I had fully loaded focus amplify dead silence as a main perk. Well, this lot this is ending now. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been Carbon. Subscribe and like if you want more. If you don't like it, that's fine with me. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been Carbon, and have a great day.